So this is the, the training video for the, the wall kit. Also, as you see, we've, we've done a, a gate out of this one. This kit is very versatile. There's lots of things you can do with it. First thing to do when you get the box, open it up, make sure you've got all the bits and pieces, make sure you've got your instruction manual and your tools, and then we'll get started. As always, when, when building any kind of MIM fence, you always must make sure you stick to the recommended timber dimensions. So I have my fence set up in position. Everyone's happy where it is. It's time now to fit the hinges. So first stage again is to clip your hinge together. It goes together like that and put the bolt through, tighten up and then we're ready to go. I've got my fence up and I've cut it here where I want to fit my hinge. Um, I've decided this one for the look of the fence needs to be about 50% of, of the height of it, which is fine. But the only rule we must stick to is we must be at least 25 centimeters from the top of the fence to the hinge. That is a minimum. Anything below that we can, we can use. Okay, so the next thing, which is stage two in the manual, we're gonna take the hinges and, and fix it onto our fence. We may need a little bit of help for this, just to lift. And we slide the hinge into where we need it and let it down. Now we can fix it. This is a 150 mil screw. I mean, we need to make sure this, this plate is securely fixed to the fence. So now we have the, the hinge fixed up. We've, we've, we've got it working. We've, we've done that both sides, both sides of the fence there. Um, everything's working right. We can now go on to fitting the clip. For a normal speed, flat approach, we would fit the clip 80 to 65% of the height. For the low speed or angle jump, we would fit it to 65 to 50%. These ratios and measurements are all explained fully in the manual. So now we've established the, the height of the clip, we can go ahead and fit it. So. so don't over tighten this nut too much, it's just allow the clip to fit on snugly. Once we have both bolts in, before, before we screw the plates up, just check that your clip does fit correctly. If it doesn't, you can give a little bit of adjustment so that the clip fits snugly. Now we're going to screw these plates in securely in place. This makes sure these bolts don't move. So just a couple of things to remember when your fence is done. When the fence activates on the gap here, when the fence is dropped, we need to make sure there's not a gap here that anything can get a foot in or anyone can get stuck in. And also we need the safe zone, which is the back of the fence, which is the area from the top of the fence to the ground. This is 200 mil. This is to, to stop, make sure the fence doesn't come down and crush the rider if he was happened to be landed on the back of the fence. So we have another example of here of the wall kit. This is just to show you how versatile this kit can be. Here we have the same system. We have a, a rail. This rail can fall away as usual. Um, this is very useful for maybe a corner fence or a very narrow rail fence. 